backgrounds in HR um, is is very broad so um, there are some schools that you can go to where you can get a specific HR degree um, however I would say that is not the norm um, in HR so some people may have a general bachelor's of science in business administration or a bachelor's in psychology or sociology or um, communications um, it really just depends upon the individual um, there are also a lot of people that kind of fall into the HR career path. So there are people who um, may have a completely different um, degree um, where they may have started in HR after, out of school and they, they've stayed in it um, throughout um, their career, which is really awesome. Um, so it really just depends upon the person, um, but I would say most organizations um, do likely require a bachelor's degree for an HR role. I was really interested in um, doing meaningful work um, that could truly impact others. And so I saw the HR job posting at MTN and I had actually told a friend who is a nurse um, about the posting and she was like, oh my gosh, you have to apply. MTN is so incredible and just raved about MTN. And so I was so excited. Um, and so I started in the recruitment process and um, Throughout the recruitment process at MTN, there are multiple stages. Um, so I got to meet with the HR team, but then also um, a lot of different individuals, including different leaders. And it really helped to give me a holistic view of what MTN would be like, um, the culture, what the people really enjoyed about MTN, which was really awesome. And so throughout the recruitment process, I just, my excitement level just kept increasing and increasing, which was really awesome. Um, and I could really envision myself working here. HR is really here to support the people and culture of our organization and so our people are vitally important to the work that we do every day and so HR is really here as a resource. There are many um, different types of functions of HR so um, whether it be benefits or recruiting or employee relations or performance management um, and so on and so forth. Um, HR is never boring, um, it will always keep you on your toes and it is challenging but it's very rewarding work. Ninety-five percent of Americans are in favor of um, being a donor. However, only sixty percent are registered donors, and so um, by signing up to be a donor, you um, really can impact others, um, which is, I think, a really awesome way to leave a legacy. Um, and so, I would just encourage anyone who um, is interested in becoming a donor to um, visit their local state registry or their local DMV for more information. There are so many things I love about MTN, um, but two things really come to mind. Um, first would be um, that regardless of position at MTN, everyone gets to play a part in our mission of saving lives, which is really awesome. So there um, are roles that probably pay, play more of a direct role in our mission, but there's also roles like HR that play more of an indirect role. However, regardless of role, we are all playing a part um, in the mission. Since we all get to play a part in the mission, everyone is truly committed to it and that shows on a daily basis. So um, whether that be going the extra steps to help a coworker who needs help or um, taking the extra steps to improve a process, um, everyone here at MTN is truly committed to the mission um, and the people here are, are truly incredible. If you are interested in a meaningful um, and mission-focused work, I would absolutely encourage you to apply. Um, I'm so grateful that I did. I would remind anyone that's going through a recruitment process that it is a two-way street. So um, the organization will absolutely ask you questions about um, yourself and your job history, but it is a great time for you to ask questions about um, you know, the, the position and a team and the culture so you could potentially envision yourself um, at that organization. Um,